understand that each copy you do is a highly, highly, highly individualized exercise, and it will vary greatly from one to the next. That's the point, because then you become fluent in as many different languages and systems of problem, solvings, problem solving as possible. And that, for me, is the caveat and the fulcrum of old master copies. What you're doing is you're disregarding a lot of what you use within your own art making to see how someone else under different circumstances took visual information and broke it down. That's huge. Basically what you're doing is seeing the systems that other people employ to create an image. And the thing that's really fun is you'll see that a lot of those systems may overlap with yours. A lot of them diverge widely or you'll actually see where a lot of them have made mistakes. So what was kind of interesting when I was a guard at the Met, is you start looking at pieces long enough and you can see the errors that artists would make or where they took shortcuts or where they just didn't want to bother with the drawing. So, you know, you see these funny idiosyncrasies, not immediately, not at first, but by virtue of persistently studying an artist's particular work.